Ever since the announcement of Blue Protocol, players all around the world, MMO fans specifically, have been eagerly anticipating being able to get in and test the game out. Whether that's alpha testing, whether that's beta testing, whether that's the full release of the game. And after the announcement that came back in December 2022, player excitement hit all new levels because it was confirmed that within Japan, Blue Protocol was going to be holding their final closed beta test. This was admittedly the final product of the game that players would receive, that Amazon specifically would receive, that we would get to play when the game goes live. Before we dive any further into the video, I want to thank today's sponsor, Dragon Raja. Did you know that Dragon Raja is holding their third anniversary and you're invited? To participate, all you have to do is click that link in the description and the pinned comment below. Trust me, you are not going to want to miss out on this opportunity. Dragon Raja is an absolutely massive cyberpunk style anime MMORPG set in an enormous open world featuring stunning characters, pretty sick graphics, and most importantly, they're in the process of celebrating, which means that we get tons of goodies, like their limited return package rewarding players a whole heap of diamonds, an avatar and avatar frame, along with third anniversary exclusive ghost sugar outfit, and a Sakura pupil mount. But that isn't all, there's the Midsummer Tail and Grove Cavalier outfits to obtain as well. They're also introducing the new Shadow Fencer class, and an entirely new map, Cambridge. The Fencer class looks like one of the most fun classes introduced to date, with fast, flashing fluid and precise thrusts, dealing immense amounts of damage. Cambridge is a gorgeous Victorian fantasy inspired region with new story and new content to consume. Seriously, do not miss out on receiving all of the absolutely insane rewards that you'll obtain either by returning now or trying the game out for the first time. Now is the time. Incredible outfits, new mounts, a new class, new story, and a whole new region. Seriously, click that link and join in on the fun. Now admittedly, that beta test was delayed. I covered that delay in a separate video, but as of a few days ago, the official Blue Protocol Twitter tweeted something that you are going to want to see. I will note real quick, when Googling Blue Protocol, the Amazon version of the game is the first result for me, followed by the Steam page, the MMORPG.com website, then the AmazonGames.com announcement, and then the, the, the actual official Japanese Blue Protocol website is all the way down here, at like number five, that is beneath all of this crap. The official Amazon global version of the website hasn't had a new article posted on it in months, but navigating on over to the Japanese website, which is admittedly the more important website for the game, at least when it comes to updates on the progress, updates on the beta test, an announcement was made. This is the same announcement that was actually made over on Twitter as well. The announcement reads, Blue Protocol Management Team. From eight o'clock on February 28th, a Tuesday, the official distribution of their, I'm assuming here, final live stream will be implemented. In this distribution, we'll inform you of the follow-up to the regarding the status of network test preparations announced on January 25th. So, as I touched on at the beginning of the video, the, the beta test was scheduled for Japan for I think it was roughly around the middle of January 2023. Now, due to unforeseen issues that arose, the beta test was delayed indefinitely. Now, during February, they did confirm that the beta test will be held at some point in March 2023. They did not address whether this was going to affect the global version of the game, whether they might run into issues where the transfer of data to Amazon gets pushed back a couple months because it makes sense. If the beta test was held in the beginning of January or the middle of January and they finalized everything in that beta test, they might have had the information ready, all the data ready to give to Amazon you know, February, March, but if it's held in March, it might take all the way until May to get that information condensed and in a compact form that they can then transfer over to Amazon unless Amazon are already localizing and translating and preparing the game in real time. Without that information, they'll just send over the updated files 
after the fact. The tweet goes on to state, in order to provide a follow-up report on the status of preparations for the implementation of the network test, we will deliver the live stream. Okay, so like, if you click the link here, it will take you over to the live stream that is going to go live in actually three days. So this is just a couple, 6 a.m. Dude, there's no way I'm gonna be awake at 6 a.m. Who, who would actually be awake at 6 a.m. in North America? to watch this. So this is 6 a.m. That, that's Eastern Standard Time anyway. They are going to hold what is expected to be their final live stream for the game. This is gonna give us all the information we need. It's gonna give us the progress on the beta, the exact date for the beta, the final beta in March, along with everything else they've been working towards. Now, despite the accusations that Amazon are going to heavily censor the game, I'm still very excited to play it. I still think this game is going to be a lot of fun. It is very unique. It offers certain aspects that are very different to the traditional MMO formula. And ultimately, I think the game is gonna be good. I will be streaming this over on Twitch when the beta takes place. I urge you to, before making final judgments on the game, come on over, watch me, in real time as I play it, judge the game for what it is when you can actually see what it is and not what people are telling you it's going to be like. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Blue Protocol, I actually have a video on screen right now with everything you need to know about the game going into 2023. This is regarding its business model. This is regarding its combat, its monetization, everything. Or alternatively, here is a game that Mrs. Six actually played, an MMO that just released that I think you should also take a look at.